So my name is Michelle Borgstein. I'm a large animal veterinarian and also a dairy farmer. And I work currently for Greenpoint Dairy in the Thumb of Michigan and then with my husband at Brad Stein Farms. We milk 120 cows at home with two robots and we raise our family of twin girls that are five and our son that is three. I graduated veterinary school in 2008. I went to Cornell University in New York, so a native of Michigan, but I transplanted to New York for four years for college, and then I moved back here in 2008. Started doing mixed practice, doing some small animal and large, and that's progressed to doing 100% large animal at this time. Uh, at Greenpoint Dairy, I'm responsible for the overall health and management of the cows, so when that includes the medicine ordering, which protocols we're using for treatments, but also especially more for preventative care. Um, I oversee all of the animals from calves to the lactating herd, but also going to visit our heifer facilities out of state and making sure that that's where we want to be. And more importantly, um, my primary role is of training employees because with 5,500 5, milking cows and another thousand dry cows, we have lots of people that you know, need to know what to do. Being a dairy veterinarian, you have the ability to help make these cows more productive and healthy, but it also makes the family's life better. So if we can make another 10 pounds of milk, that sometimes means a better Christmas for their children. A woman in the agriculture industry to me is a, a woman in any other industry. We are part of the team, we're all here. And I think if you do a good job, it doesn't matter your gender, that you're gonna be welcomed and I've experienced that myself. So it doesn't matter if you're five foot four or six foot four, is if you can get that calf out, you're the winner of the day. My name is Lisa Shemansky. I farm up in Port Austin, Michigan. With my husband and our three kids, we grow corn, wheat, and dry beans, which are navy beans and black turtle beans, and we also just started a Christmas tree farm. We farm about 1,200 acres, approximately 700 acres of corn, 250 of dry beans, and 250 of wheat. I think traditionally people think of the, the woman on a farm as the one who brings dinner and takes care of the kids and maybe runs to town for parts. Um, I actually still do all of that stuff, um, but I also go over our business plan. Um, my husband and I make decisions together, we're business partners. I run the tractor, I work ground, I help plant wheat, I you know, keep track of our seed and our chemicals and our record keeping, um, and I still you know, keep track of the house and the kids and that kind of stuff, but it definitely is more of a partnership now than I think it was before. I think one of the thing that, things that women in general are better at is um, looking at the bigger picture and being more precise. So we have three children and the one most interested in farming is our daughter Faith. She's nine and she's in the fourth grade and she just loves to be with us when we're farming. Um, she's just really excited about farming and it's really fun to be out there you know with your with your family with your daughter who just this is all she knows and that's what she wants to do and uh, if we're lucky, this will be her farm someday. I'm Emily McKay, and I'm from Lansing, Michigan, but now we are in Zeeland, Michigan at Walters Gardens. So I'm actually the AC acclimation lead grower and also the IPM manager for the greenhouse. Um, I do a lot of different things while I'm here um, and one of them is taking care of all the baby plants. So I get a lot of very small tissue culture, a lot of very small cuttings and I propagate those and make them grow roots and try to get them to be good healthy plants to go into other areas. Some of the things I'm responsible for here um, are propagating new plants. I'm doing some scheduling for people that I manage, planning of chemicals and chemical rotations, spraying, 
One of my favorite parts is actually just being able to teach people and work with people and being a leader for those people. So being a woman in agriculture means a lot to me. Um, sometimes it seems like it is a more male-dominated profession. And sometimes people don't realize how many different aspects of agriculture there are. So I'm primarily based in horticulture and a lot of people don't know that this greenhouse production is even a viable option, you know, and it's to be able to teach people about what I do and inspire people, especially females, it, it means a lot to me to be able to do that and work with other females as well. Um, you think farm tractor, you think that's a man's job. I think that's a huge stereotype. Um, I'd like to think that women can hold all of the same positions and, you know, break that stereotype a little bit. I wouldn't say stereotype, but more of a trend that men get more opportunities to move up and be in leadership positions as well in agriculture versus women. So I think it's really important that we show that we can have those opportunities and that we can do those things. I like to voice my opinion. I like to show my ideas and you know sometimes that's that's hard for women to do in this industry. Um, I'm very lucky here that I work with a great team of people and that they value my opinions and my ideas.